Hey community, we're back. I'm Brandy B, the community MP. And I'm Brandy G, the community MP. And together we are BNB, B &B, the, the community, community MP. So today our topic is about HIV. Wait, okay, well, do y'all like our scenery? Oh yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> we, we, out in, we out in nature, y'all. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. We figured it, it would, I don't know, we just figured we'd change it up yes. a little bit. Plus so, it's really nice out here. So let us know if y'all like it or not, okay? Yeah. Um, and we're doing to try not to get distracted by our surroundings. I know. <laughs> but yeah, so today's topic is HIV. Yes. So, all right. So we're going to talk about HIV. So this is going to be broken up into like probably like three different um, yeah, videos. At least two. So yeah, today two we're going to talk about HIV, the definition, uh -huh. um, prevention, how it's transmitted. Yes. And what else? That, that'll that be pretty much it because that's, that's okay. a lot of information. And next... Um, type is going to be living with HIV. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get started. So B, tell us what is HIV? What is the definition of HIV? HIV is basically a virus that affects the body's immune system. So okay. it, it basically attacks the immune system and prevents the, well, it brings like the CD4 cells, which are usually what fights off infections. It brings the count down okay. and prevents the body from being able to fight off different types of infections. Okay. So, so uh, go. what is AIDS? AIDS is when you have HIV, but it's to the point to where your body cannot fight off infections um, at all. So your CD4 count will be really low. Um, <laughs> she's distracted. She's distracted. So yeah, it's when the person loses their ability to fight off the infection. So you can have HIV and still be your body able to fight off infections, okay. but maybe that's too wordy. Does it make no, sense? No, it makes sense. Okay, it makes sense, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, it makes yeah. a lot of sense. Okay. So we're going to talk about how is it transmitted. So it can be transmitted through bodily fluids. Yes. Semen, vaginal fluids, mm -hmm. um, blood, and breast milk. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, so what is it not, how is it not spread? So it can be spread through your tears. Okay. It can be spread through sweat, feces, or urine, unless those things have blood in them. Okay. So. Okay. So somebody crying, really, if you wipe your tears, you can't. No. Okay, that's just a yeah. question that people may have. Yeah, for, okay. for sure. All right, so we know that it can be trans, um, trans, the transmission of HIV can be through sex. Yes. We know that um, having sex with someone with HIV, you can be at risk for getting HIV. Mm -hmm. And that can be either anal sex, oral sex, or just vaginal sex. Yeah. So it, it could be all three, mm -hmm. can cause it. Yeah. So I know that was a myth. Uh, some years ago that it was just through vaginal, us, yeah, yeah, vaginal, vaginal sexual sex. intercourse. Right. But oral no. sex can also. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So any type of penetration. Okay. Um, and then also it can be trans... Um, and, and of course, tra the transmission through blood, blood yes. um, happens like if you're sharing in needles, needles getting body piercings with yes. or tattoos with infected needles, accidental needle sticks. Yeah. like nurses and stuff yeah. and stuff like People that, that work. blood yeah. transfusion and then if blood splashes into your eyes so you can't get hiv like from tears mm -hmm. but if like blood gets into your eye then it can be transmitted That's like that. that yeah okay all right so um it can be transmitted during pregnancy so if the pregnant mom it has hiv mm -hmm. she can give the hiv to the, the unborn child right okay but i think there's medications now yes. that they have that can prevent that transmission from occurring from mm -hmm. mother to child yes also well breast milk mm -hmm. you know if the hiv mother is breastfeeding her child it can be transmitted through the baby through breast milk also yes okay so they recommend like if you are pregnant mm -hmm. to definitely go and uh, get on medication that'll help reduce the risk of the baby getting the uh, HIV because it happens during childbirth, so it usually that's when they yeah. end up getting get because they're exposed to all the mother's bodily fluids. fluids. Usually, when they're in womb, they're in their own little yes. sac, but during birth, a lot of blood is exposed and stuff. And yes. then, uh, of course, if you are HIV positive, the recommendation is to um, use formula instead yes. of breast milk. And that's one of the tests that they do. Um, like one of the prenatal tests or tests mm -hmm. you do when you first find out you're pregnant, you yeah. do a whole, you do a panel, and it's one of the tests that's included is the HIV test. Yes. Okay. So some myths. Can I get HIV from hugging you? No. Massaging you? Nope. All right. Can I get HIV from fantasizing about somebody? No. Master masturbating? No. Cyber sex? No cyber. <laughs> Can't right. transmit through cyber Using sex. Using sex toys in the bedroom? Only 
So no, but if you say somebody, if you share sex toys with somebody that's HIV positive, then you could get it. Okay. Um, if I live in a household with somebody that's HIV positive, can I get it? Because I'm living in a house with them? Not just because you're living in the house with them, but if you share like razors or needles or something like that. Just being around somebody, no. All right. If an insect bite me, can an insect give me HIV? No. That was that was a, that was a huge thing. When people, I remember, I can't remember when it was, but people were like, "Oh, you can get HIV by mosquito bites." Like if I, I if, if the mosquito bites uh, somebody with HIV and then bites you. Yeah, how you gonna like? <laughs> I know, I got HIV from mosquito. All right, all right. So, that was probably somebody's excuse. Yeah, they were that, like, uh, "Mosquito bit them and they bit me." So yeah, all yeah, right, no, no, so no, that can't happen. No. So let's talk about some prevention methods. Um, first of all, you won't get tested. Yeah, and 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 there's no cure. Yes, and there's no immunization that no you vaccine. can get right to prevent it. There's yeah. no vaccine. There's no cure. So that's why it's a big push to get testing for yes. screening mm -hmm. because you, we need to know, you know, if you do have it, there's treatment. Yes, that can keep it dormant. Uh huh. So if you, so that's why it's important to get screened. So I know now. Um, I see that I'm screening a lot of my patients. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the policy measures for this year yep. was to do HIV screening, the hepatitis C screening. So I'm screening a lot of patients for HIV. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And the, so the recommendation is for all adults to get screened at least once. And then, of course, if you're risky, then you yes. get screened as often as you need to. Okay. I'm outside distracting me because I'm looking everywhere. <laughs> all right. So she just got to get used to it. So there's PrEP. Have you given PrEP before? I have. Okay. What is PrEP? So PrEP is basically a medication that you... I don't know if you can hear over the plane. I can hear. What is PrEP? <laughs> PrEP is basically a medication <laughs> that you get. Um, if you feel like you're at risk for developing HIV, like you have unprotected sex, uh, men having sex with men, those okay. are people that are at higher at higher risk of developing HIV. So you can get on medication that you take every day to prevent your risk from getting... Oh, my God. <laughs> a bird just hit the window and died. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, ooh, I see. Okay, go ahead, Brandon. <laughs> I like it out here. <laughs> Me too. Too many distractions. But, um, yeah, so basically it's medication that you can get, and you take it every day, and it prevents you from, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it decreases your risk for developing, contracting HIV. So say you're in a relationship with someone that mm -hmm. has HIV, and you want to have sex. So you can get on PrEP, and it'll decrease your risk for transmission for yeah for okay. transmission so what's pep pep is you take if you get exposed to hiv and you have to you have to go to the doctor get medication and it, it also helps reduce your risk but you have to do it within 72 hours after exposure okay. all right so that's prep and that's pep yeah okay all right so another way to prevent is condoms so I the just had easiest. This, right. I just had this conversation with a patient not so long ago, probably an hour ago. Teenager, young guy, 18, 19, no, he was 18. Going to I, college. Going to college. And I asked him, was he sexually active? He told me, of course. <laughs> of course. First of all, I said, of course. He's like, of course. I'm like, that's not nothing to be saying, of course, about. Right, yeah. You're not married. Like, it's not nothing right, to be saying, of yeah. course. But he was like, yes, of course. So I actually use the kind. Not all the time. Why? Because I don't want to. I said, well, well, can you start using them? I can't promise you that. Oh, my God. I'm like, child. I talked to him. Told him about the different STIs, mm -hmm. um, HIV, just everything. And he was like, okay, I'm, I'm listening. I, I'll see. I'll try. Yeah. Well, it takes, it, it, sometimes it takes for somebody to get know. something or something to happen before they realize Oh, this can happen to me because you know at that age they think yeah. that they're invincible. Well, nothing can happen at right, all. Right. Yeah. So, but that's a good way to. How prevent. many sex partners has he? So he told me it was too many to count. I asked <laughs> at him how, eighteen. Yes, in the last six months, I asked him how many sex partners he had. He told me it was too many to count. And that's why we say use condoms. Yes. Because say he had HIV, then all these this all these sex partners that it's too many to count. Yes. They would most likely have HIV yeah. too. That's why it's important to get screened. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's important to get screened. All right. So also we can prevent um, transmission by not sharing needles, mm -hmm. especially infective needles. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what needles are infected or not. So don't use any used needles at all. Okay. Right. Only get tattoos by professionals, not your cousin, 
not your friend down the street who practicing to do tattoos. Yeah. Get it by a professional who knows that they have to exchange out needles and just can't clean off a needle and stuff like right, that. Yeah, so yeah. make sure you get that done. And usually the, the um, tattoo artist, they'll show you mm -hmm. when they take the needle out the packet. Yes. It's a new needle. Mm -hmm. They'll show you prior to doing a tattoo, okay? Um, let's see. And then don't share razors or personal care items. Yes. Like like if you live in, in the house with someone that has HIV, th those are some things that you can do to prevent yourself from getting it. And then, um, you know, a lot of people are getting injections like silicone mm. and what else uh, hormone injections yeah. and that requires using a needle so make sure that you're getting those things done by a professional and not at somebody's house because that yeah. was a big deal like i think here in dfw like i don't know a few years ago a lady was doing injections um wow. out of her house yeah so <laughs> a lot of people were getting infected i don't know with what but and so if you're working with um, blood products, wear your PPP. PPP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what is it <laughs> Personal protective like equipment. Everybody should know about that yeah. right now since yeah. it's COVID. But yeah, so if you are working with blood, you do want to make sure that you know you put your gloves on. Mm -hmm. If you know you're in a splash zone, put your sh shield on, mm -hmm. wear goggles or something like yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. And if you are a drug user, I mean, we don't encourage it at all. No. But if what you are. Happens? Yeah then make sure that you, again, aren't sharing needles. Yes. Make sure, if, if you even if you want to reuse your needles, make sure that you um, sterilize them, clean them. I know people snort drugs, yes. and that puts you at risk because it can cause nosebleeds, and then if you share your whatever you use to snort the drugs with, then, yes. And then also yeah. the pipes, yeah, crack pipes, they cause your lips to crack and break and bleed and then you share your pipe with somebody else and that puts you at risk too so any any blood exposure puts you at the risk, risk. Yes. so we, like i said we don't encourage drug use no. prefer you to quit but you know if you are try to be safe so that you don't have hiv yes all right so that that's basically all that we'll talk about in part one, one yes because that's a lot of information We'll talk about in part two, basically living with <laughs> HIV yes. and, um, you know, because it, it is controllable. It's not curable, but it's controllable yeah. and you can get to the point. If you have HIV, there's things that you can do to, you know, get your body to the point to where you are very, very, very unlikely to transmit it to other people. So people are living long, healthy lives yes, with HIV. Are. So Okay, Brandon, let's wrap this up. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> she wants to snowball, y'all. So she is trying to rush me through our video so she can get a snowball. Oh, and we're almost out of gas. So okay, we gotta make it back through. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So B. So as always, this is just information to share with your family, friends, of the spark a conversation. It does not take the place of your primary care provider. Period. Okay. It does not. We do want you to go and at least get your yearly, once a year exam done by your primary care provider. And if you need one, b, &B is here. Yeah. So B, where can they find us at? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Like, share, subscribe. Okay. And why do we do this? Because community is our beauty. And guess what, you guys? We're out in the community today. Yes. yes. All right. Y'all have a great day. Uh